guys, so today's video is going to be what's in my travel makeup bag, what I'm taking to the beach with me. I don't know what I'm calling this video yet, but I'm pre-filming this because we are leaving for the beach in the morning. I'm super excited. I thought it would be kind of fun just to show you guys what makeup I'm taking with me because I always tend to like take my favorite products of the moment. So it's kind of like a new current product favorites video and what's in my travel makeup bag. Does that make sense? So I didn't pull anything out yet. I figured we would kind of do that together. We're just gonna go through my drawers together. So yeah, if you guys would like to see what is in my travel makeup bag, just keep watching. Okay, first I'm gonna grab my primer. I'm only taking my Murad Oil Control Mattifier because that's pretty much all I need. Okay, for foundation, even though I don't think I'm really going to wear these, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter in 6.0 and 7.75 because I kind of have to mix them together to get the perfect shade. I usually don't even wear foundation at the beach, but just in case the mood strikes me, I'm going to take these. And that's the only foundation that I'm taking. Okay, and then as far as concealer goes... The only concealer that I ever need in life is the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, here's the better shot. I'm gonna take light medium and medium because I'm like right in between shades. Sometimes medium's a little too dark, light medium's a little too light. So again, I'm gonna be mixing and matching, but this is the only concealer that I seriously ever need. It's, um, I'm hardcore. So as far as powder goes, I'm gonna definitely take my NARS Crystal. I'm just debating if I wanna take the loose or the pressed. I think I'm gonna take the pressed though because it's a little bit easier and it's not as bulky. And then I am gonna take my Maybelline Better Skin because I like this for touch-ups. Not that I'm really gonna be touching up. I mean, I don't even think I'm gonna be wearing that much makeup, but I'm gonna take these two anyway, just in case. Makeup. This is definitely going this I probably don't need to take, but I'm going to take it anyway. Okay, for brows, I'm taking ColourPop Bangin' Brunette, and I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Dark Brown. I usually mix these two together. Like, I'll use the ColourPop one to kind of define, like, the edges of my brow, and then I use the Anastasia one to fill everything in, so... These go hand in hand. Oh, while we're in here, I'm also going to take my Highbrow Glow because I've been using this to... Um, like highlight my brow bone and my inner corner and I really love it And I'm gonna take my gimme brow because I've been back in love with this. Okay, okay. eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna be super basic and just take my favorite palette of the moment, which is the modern renaissance from ABH This has everything in it. It has Crease shades. It has shimmery lid shades. It has darker shades for like defining it's just the best palette. I cannot stop using this. It's so amazing. And then for mascara, I'm definitely taking my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I use this on my lower lashes, and it's my favorite lower lash mascara ever. And for my regular lashes, oh, what do I want to take? I've been really going strong with Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara. Like, I'm kind of thinking the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take my roller lash just as a backup just in case. Ugh, I'm so in love with this right now. Okay, yes, I'm taking two because I'm extra. Okay, for a bronzer, I'm definitely, definitely taking my Wonder Bronze from Soap and Glory. This is like my favorite thing right now. I've been using this pretty much every day. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It was in my favorites video. It's just, it gives you the prettiest like... Just like gold shimmery. It looks so pretty as a bronzer topper. I have another bronzer to grab, but it's in another drawer, so we're just going to finish up in here. Um, for a blush, the only one that I'm taking is Kink and Kisses from Marc Jacobs. This is my favorite blush of the moment. The formula on this thing, oh my gosh, it was $42 and worth every stinking penny. I love this so much. Okay, we're going vlog style. So I want to also take my Bahama Mama from The Balm. This is the only other bronzer that I'm taking. The Soap and Glory one is more of like a bronzer topper. As I said, this one is like a straight up bronzer and it is gorgeous. And then for highlighter, oh God, this is the hard part. These are like my favorite highlighters in here. Oh gosh, which one do I want to take, you guys? 
I'm kind of leaning toward the Kiko one. Oh, but You Do You is so gorgeous. Hmm. Oh, I know what I can take. My little Ofra wheel, because this has a bunch of different colors. I can use some for my inner corner. Oh yeah, this is genius right here. I'm taking this bad boy. This is called Beverly Hills. The quality of this is so good. They are so pigmented and pretty. Yes, definitely taking this. I need to grab my Scandinavia setting spray. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And I also need to grab my Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. I'm going to be super, super extra and take my Minoy Body Glow from NARS because this looks so pretty on tan skin. And this is like perfect beach stuff. You know what I mean. Okay, for lip liner, I'm only taking one. I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Nudist because this is just like the perfect nude shade and I love it. And then for lips, I'm definitely taking my, this is not going to focus right away. We're going to have to give her a minute. I'm definitely taking O Snap from ColourPop. This is just my favorite ColourPop lippy stick and I'll probably end up wearing this every day, but I'm going to take a few options just in case. Definitely taking my Hot Sand Gloss from NARS. This will probably be the only gloss that I wear the whole time that I'm there. Oh, I am taking, hang on, I gotta grab my ColourPop. Okay, this is ColourPop Tight Fit. This is one of their new Ultra Glossy Lips. Oh my gosh, this is so metallic and so gorgeous. You know she's coming along. I'm gonna throw Oyster Girl in the mix just because I can't live without her and I just feel like she'll need to be in my purse just in case I get a hankering for her. Summer. We have a stud sighting. <laughs> oh my God, and he's wet. <laughs> it's raining. What's up? What's up? I'm filming a, what I'm taking to the beach, like makeup wise. And me. I wish. Me you look too. super cute. Stop. Such a cute. You know what guys, I kind of changed my mind on my blush and highlighter. I think I'm just going to take my Becca split pan. This is Champagne Pop and this is Flower Child and these are like two of my favorite products just because it makes more sense and then I can just take this one thing instead of taking two separate products. You know, I'm going to miss my Marc Jacobs blush for four days but Flower Child will do me just right. Hey, there I am. Hi. Who am I kidding? I'm taking her too. Oh, don't judge me. I can't be without her. I can't leave her for four days. That's weird, but I am super obsessed with this blush. Obsessed, I tell you. Focus. <gasps> oh, I'm also going to take, I hate that I have to like put my hand back there to get it to focus. I'm taking my Essence. This is like a lip balm. It's in the shade Cute Nude. I think I talked about this in my favorites. It's like a super sheer, like moisturizing lippy and I love it. I'm also going to take Alyssa from ColourPop. This is one of Kathleen's um, creations. It's one of the ultra satins. I really love this color. So I'm going to take her just in case. She's so pretty. So that's it for makeup. As far as brushes go, well, I'm definitely taking my Beauty Blender. It will be clean when I take it. And these new Morphe Rose Gold brushes are like slaying my life. I'm taking the R0, this will be my powder brush. I think, I think this may top my Makeup Forever powder brush, that big one that I always show you guys, which is like my favorite brush. I think this one is better. I am like so hard with this brush, it's so good. These are my three main eye brushes, the E40 from Sigma, the E36 from Morphe, and then the MAC 217. These three are pretty much all I need to do like a full eye. This is it. I am going to take this R43. I've been using this for um, highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners and I really like it. And it doubles as a lid, like packer brush. Packer brush. And then I'm taking the R10 from Morphe. This I use to set my concealer. It's like my new favorite concealer setter brush. <laughs> I'm also taking the R2. This one I use for bronzer and it is super bay. I'm also taking the R36. I've been using this for highlighting. It's very similar to the 510 brush and the 501 brush, 
but yeah, I like this one a lot. For blush, I'm taking this, no, it's not the NARS brush. This is the dupe. This is the Japanese brush. This is a dupe for the NARS Yachio brush. I prefer this one, and it's like, I don't know how much cheaper, but it's at least like $20 to $30 cheaper. I love this brush for blush. It's bomb. I have to wash this guy, but I'm also taking my LNY brush. This is a dupe for the MAC 217. Just in case one of them gets dirty, it's nice to have a backup. I'm taking my little Benefit tweezers. These are like the best tweezers I've ever used. So cute. Taking my Shiseido eyelash curlers. These are pretty much the only eyelash curlers that I ever use. They're super amazing. Look what I got just in time for the beach. My Replica Beach Walk Perfume. This is just a rollerball, but oh my god, you guys. Even if you don't think you're going to buy it, just go into Sephora and smell this. It smells like heaven. I'm taking my Wayne Goss Airbrush. Just because I love this brush so much, I feel like I need to have it with me. That doesn't make sense, but I need, like, it's so soft and it's so good. And I can't leave her at home, so she's coming along. And then for my shimmery bronzer, that Soap and Glory like bronzer topper, I'm taking the Morphe R7 brush. Oh man, I love, 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 love this brush. Oh, it's so, it's so soft, like how? I don't know, but it is. And just in case, I'm taking the R44. This has a little angled brush and it has a spoolie on it. I think I might need an angled brush, possibly. You never know. Okay, so I think we're pretty good. That is the makeups and that is the brushes. I know a couple of them are dirty, but you know what? I'm totally okay with it. And they're just going on my face. Oh. I did forget to put my little Bahama Mama in there. So this I'm gonna put in with my like my skincare and my bath stuff, but I'm just gonna put him there for now. Oh, I'm also gonna take these Clinique Take the Day Off wipes. This was a little 100 point perk that I got at Sephora. And I used, oh, you know what? I think I used two of them. So there's only three in here. Well, scratch that. I'm taking my e.l.f. wipes. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it's super sunny right now and I'm like sitting on the beach, not sipping a cocktail because I'll be like sipping a bottle of water like. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I think it'll be, I think it'll be fun. This is legit choking me. Like, when I, like, go like that, I can't, I can't breathe. It's a life or death situation. All for filming. All for beauty purposes. Doesn't work. Stop trying to be cute. So, yeah, if you guys would like to see what's in my travel makeup bag, just keep watching. So, we're going to, like, go through and pull everything out together. I'm so sorry. I mean, let's be real. Nobody's going to be sitting on the beach looking like a size two sip in a cocktail. Reality would be a size ten. Plop down in a chair, bitching because I'm so hot, stand all in my coochie, and I'm sipping on a bottle of water. That is my reality. Ugh, this strapless bra is literally killing me. Like, it's digging into my skin. It's so uncomfortable. Why would anyone ever do this to themselves? It's not worth it. I'd rather just have titties flapping everywhere than torture myself with this contraption. It's so uncomfortable. Strapless bras are for bitches. Ugh. What the heck is wrong with this camera? What are you looking at?